Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And this is episode 23 of our Let's Play of Carrier, and something really weird happened. We started this episode, had some good rapport going, we were talking about things, we were merry and jolly. I glance up at my capture card and all of a sudden the stupid thing stops recording. I mean, gameplay gameplay wise, you guys didn't miss. You too missed much. absolutely nothing. Um, we are still heading towards Debt Four to check on Bob, who apparently had some sort of problem uh, in the last episode. And uh, last episode, they were really pumping us with a lot of healing items and resources. So that has me a little bit worried. We talked a little bit about the 2038 apocalypse and how nostalgic we are for Y2K. And yes, 2038, um, Unix-based operating systems like Linux, Macintosh, are going to have a problem with their timestamp. And But the thing is, we agreed, don't worry about the 2038 apocalypse. They haven't really come up with what is the solution for the problem, but there are solutions for it. So, yeah, yeah don't freak out about 2038 Let's just apocalypse. just get through 2020 first. Yeah. Man, that would have been really cool to, like, actually have that full discussion. As you guys know, I switched to uh, Linux. I mean, granted, that's probably not helping the viewer who's um, watching way in the future in 2037. Dude, <laughs> you know... <laughs> But we're on deck four right now. I don't know where I need to go to deck four, actually. Um, do you remember where Bob said we needed to go? Do you remember where uh, Verbum Walkthrough said we needed to go? Was it like maintenance or... I feel like he said something that sounds kind of like maintenance. Everything is like electrical substation and maintenance and hold and passageway. Yep, there's a maintenance room. Yeah, I think that's where he said he was. Yeah, this place would be like the most boring ship ever to hang out on. Yeah, no. Then again, I guess you're really not supposed to be hanging out on it. You're supposed to be um, destroying the southern terrorists. But if you would just share your resources with the Southerners, they wouldn't need to resort to terrorism. <laughs> yeah, hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, imagine if instead of a ship of war, this was a ship of bringing resources to people in need. Shit. Oh yeah, the dark this, room. This is that stupid room. Hate this room. I'm like nervously glaring at the capture card now. Like, come on! I have no idea what that was. But yeah, using Linux. I love Linux actually. You're supposed to do a lot with the command terminal in Linux. Um, I have not. I've just been using the graphic user interface. Shame me if you must, the Linux people. But um. And no, I don't know the difference between GNOME and Unity and things like that. I really don't. People say Ubuntu's desktop environment is not pretty. Dude, I love it. It's great. Squeak Dude's looking like... Oh, shoot. Yep, it said something about going back through the mushrooms. Back through the mushrooms, like, oh, cool. Is that towards the maintenance room, though? Yeah, the, the maintenance room, you see that room uh, off to the right, kind of in the middle of the map there? The little room? The room... Oh, the big yellow room. No, the white room that's flashing. It says maintenance room. Um... <laughs> The the name that it's saying there is referring to the thing that I'm highlighting, not the thing that I'm in. And it's not the yellow highlight either, the white highlight. So the room that's all white? Yes, is the maintenance room. And that's the room you're highlighting? Yeah. This is a very difficult interface. You, you see, and you guys wonder, my god, why is he always lost on this ship? It's because I can't read the darn map. <sighs> But, yeah, like, 
pretty desktop, you know, you set your wallpaper, you can change your themes. How much prettier do you need it to be? <laughs> you know, yeah, that's the thing. And the, I think the argument, though, boils down to, are you more of a Windows person or a Mac person? And Ubuntu, at least to me, still feels very Mac-like. And if you want a Linux distribution that feels maybe more Windows-like, um, Mint, I think, would scratch that itch a little more readily for you there. I'm um, a Windows person. Yeah, Squeak Dude likes the Windows. Um, I'm not the world's biggest Windows fan. You know, here's a question. Do I want to go to my favorite save station and try to save there? Favy savey. Favy savey. How does it connect, though? We'll find out. Yeah, you record capture card. I don't need uh, I don't need anything else to give me more trust issues, okay? Okay, are is there supposed to be a door here? I don't know. I guess that's a different level. But I know, like, I don't want to be on the catwalk because that doesn't actually get me to the savings. So I have to go all the way around. So. And then Shambler comes. Shambler does not come. Shambler um, had a dinner appointment. Yeah, and it's with you. No, it's not with me. Um, you know, the... Oh, poo. Oh, you don't want to go through all that. Shamble, shamble, shamble. Shamble, shamble, shamble. Shamble, shamble, shamble. Dude, and I was about to charge right through that, man. When you're a big shambling boy. I know, right? This is all of our viewers excitedly walking towards their computer when they see we've uploaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the like almost funerary shuffle. Oh, Beetle rampant uploaded. They're like, yeah, let me jiggle my way on over there. Let me jiggle like I got too much coffee. Oh my god. Oh my god, Beagle Rampant uploaded. <laughs> I wonder, are there people on the world in the world who are like, oh my god, Beagle Rampant's uploaded? I think so. I hope so. Throw me a bone, guys. Throw me a bone. Okay, data saved. Wait a minute, dude. Wouldn't I have to go back through that room anyway, though, to get to the thing? Yeah. This maybe wasn't the best strategic decision. But I don't trust what's going to happen to me in that maintenance room. Like how I'm not trusting that capture card. He, he's, he's doing his job. Um, could I... Is there another way I can go around? Well, I don't want to have to shamble again. I think if you... That pathway leads to Shambler Country. It does, but I think there's a way I can, like not have to shamble. And if I do have to shamble, we'll just uh, piss off Mr. Resetti. Spoken like a guy who wants to shamble. No. I'm not shambling. Uh, I believe I take a ladder. There's a ladder in here. Oh, dude, it's empty. Left. Just like our calendars for 2020. Seriously, yeah, <laughs> just like everyone's calendar for this year. Yeah, so don't worry about the 2038 apocalypse, guys. It's, uh... You gotta get through this one first. Seriously. But, like, that one could potentially affect people's cell phones, so... Mm. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, we can go out this way. 
then go around. I hear him. Oh. <laughs> So, like, there's a way to do things. So, like, I should have just friggin' did it correctly. Like, I knew what the correct way was. And it's like, oh, no, Jordan, you should be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bae, what can you do? Jalico. Go get him, Jalico. But, yeah, this was our Halloween playthrough for last year. And we're still playing it, but I'm really excited about this year's Halloween playthrough. I'm not going to drop any spoilers, but it is an NES game that requires a battery. And we're um, mailing it off to the uh, person to replace the battery because it's cheaper to do that. So, looking forward to that. And no one else will think to do it. No one else will think For to Halloween. Do, I think it's a perfect Halloween game. I it, don't know. You're it, gonna have to convince me and the Beagle Pups. It is a perfect Halloween and winter feels like you're gonna wanna curl up with your PSL and just groove out to this fun time. Now I could picture it more as of a, as a November game. Okay, yeah. And we'll definitely be playing it in November. But yeah, we do have a like one-off Halloween special with a different game that'll feel more traditionally Halloween. Yes, uh, yeah, we mentioned it was like a Resident Evil title, and we also mentioned it weren't no good, and it ain't no good. It's very difficult. Dude. Wait. I'm so confused. Wait, this is Baby Savy. This is Baby Savy. I thought we left this place. We. That'll take you to Shambler. I'm not going up to Shambler. We just did this. We're not going to Shambler, everybody. All right, guys, we're not going to Shambler. <laughs> if you're still watching this, God bless you. <laughs> like, I want to watch the guy go to Shambler. <laughs> now, you know if you take that door, you're going to go to Shambler. If I go to this door, I shouldn't go to Shambler. I'm pretty sure that's Shambler. I think this goes to Shambler. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, because we marked we marked upon the empty box, like our empty calendars and empty dreams for twenty twenty. Yeah. That literally just happened. You see, guys, now I'm going through the brain thing of like, okay, what was in the episode that didn't actually get recorded? Um, the secret episode. The secret episode. Yeah, and we we had such good banter too. Like, yeah. Oh, poo. Guys, I think I gotta go back through the infrared beam. Yeah. Ugh. Because you were hell bent, hell bent on going to Fabi Savy. Because I felt like I had to save the game because I don't trust what's gonna happen to me. Alright, it should be like right in front of you, right? No. Right in front of you. Maybe a little bit more this away. Right in front of you. It's kind of crazy how, like, you can't turn those things off. Seriously, I dude. feel like usually in video games, like, they'll make you go through the challenge once. And then you can shut the son of a buck off. Yeah, but this seems, like, determined to leave it on the whole game. Or like the Shambler room, like after you did it once, they would 
give you a fix so that you could go back out the door? I mean, like, I guess technically they kind of did, but like, where is the opening? Okay, just a little bit this way, I think. Shamble. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Yeah, dude, like, there's a control panel. Do you press the switch? Nothing happened. Of oh, blooming course. Well, I mean, that's understandable because that's where you first approached it. But, like, on the other side, they should have another one where you can shut it off. Yeah, and I think we tried that and it didn't work. I don't know. Who knows, but maintenance room, maintenance room, oh my gosh, it's maintenance room. Uh, do I go up the ladder? I believe I do. Here's the ladder. Yeah, these ladders are also very confusing. Yeah, because, like... Because, like, it doesn't take you to a different floor, but it takes you to, like, a upper part of the floor you're on. So, like, the things that should be accessible aren't? It, it's wanked, man. It's all shades of wanked. That could be, uh, you know, a Hallmark movie as well. Shades of wanked. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I want to go the other way. this way. Our goal is to not see Shambler. But we love him. No, we, we don't really love Shambler. Shambler is pretty awful. Ooh, look, the scanny thing scanning good and quick to right now. Okay. Maintenance room. Let me guess. It's probably down that ramp, maybe? Here's a big boy. You see why I went through the favorite save station? Oh yeah, I see I see it's danger. For once, I would love to be able to get the sneak on the monster. Oh, that's a great feeling. There's two of them. Anyone else want a piece of me? Please, the answer to that question is no. Oh, this is where we pushed the crates a few episodes ago. Did we push the crates? I recall us not pushing crates. Oh, I, I recall us looking at crates and not figuring it out. Well, we got through and the crates looked pushed. Huh. Oh, dude, this is where it connects, like, kind of by the outside. Yeah. You should be close to your room. Yeah, and there should be a magazine nearby, if I am, if memory is to serve me. Magazine, yeah. Um, uh, uh, compl at the end of the hall and on the left. We are going to take a quick save in the magazine because I really don't trust what's going to happen to me, man. And watch Bob not actually be in that room. <laughs> Saving is good. Save neurotically. Save often. Especially when the saves are free. Definitely. 
you imagine if this game had like an ink ribbon system? Uh, we, this would be, it would be like the herbs and we just wouldn't do any more with it and hope yeah, that uh, nobody... Yeah, uh, we never did anything with that. Yeah, well... Do you guys miss the herbs? Dude, no they don't. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the question you just asked, does anyone else want a piece of Jack Ingalls? The answer is no. <laughs> yep. Does anyone miss the herbs? The answer is no. Yeah, no, no one misses the herbs. All right, let's see if he's in here. Oh, God. Look at him! Mom! He's still saying something. They're boys with reach. Jack, no! Now what? Now that's what I call beatings. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm just gonna let them finish me off. And, yeah, so they're, they'll finish me off like that. You see, I'm dead, and there's the game over screen. And I'm going to equip my... Um, Submachine gun? Yes. And, like, give them a blast, and they'll never forget. Give them the Christmas blasting of a lifetime. It says you should use your R buster. Of the R buster. Okay. We will use the R Buster then. Apparently, when he turns on the light, they'll die. <laughs> but that's after some good blasts with the R Buster. And apparently, what would you guess these bad guys are called? Uh, Shield Liquor? <laughs> no, they're Billy Clubs. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, did I expect anything less from a game that literally named the girl Jessifer? Oh, guys! I missed every single time! Oh, no! None of those hit? I don't think a single one. Jack! No! Bob! Jack, it looks like I'm infected. Bob! Bob, hang in there. No, it's no good. I can hear the voice of Ark. It'll be okay. There must be something that we can do. The doctor. No, no. We tried everything before you got here. Look, brother, once you're infected, there's nothing that can be done. Bob! Jack, go. Please go. I'm losing it. I, I don't want you to see me change, Jack. No. No, I can't. Please, Jack. Jack, do what I say. At the very least, I want you to remember me as a human being. Here, take this. Is 
Is it a potato on a... It's a key with some crap on it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the infected key he was talking about. Okay. Jack. Kill it. Kill Ark. We should kill Bob. <laughs> <laughs> You're just leaving a potential threat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, not good, but... Bob! Dude, emotional. I don't know. I don't feel like I care enough about either of those characters to be emotional. Dude, you're a monster. Uh, should I use uh, maybe a level two if I have one? I have four. Wow. We should probably um, save. Save, and we might call this episode here. Um, how are we looking on time, Squeak Do? Uh, I think we may even have time for another episode, but I also yeah. have to pee and do laundry. So, but like, uh, it, it'll feel a while for Squeak Do, but it won't be a while for you. Uh, Tuesday nights when we record, I often have a lot of laundry to do. So, um, yeah, I need to, you know bring up the drying and uh <laughs> <laughs> and like a, somehow the laundry got backed up you know and like I think I'm gonna have to do like two loads tomorrow like I don't even know how that happened man but now we we're like Billy clubs we're, to laundry we go clubs. from Billy clubs the emotional death of Bob Ingalls to my laundry schedule that is a universal sign of in the damn episode I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rapid Productions and I'm Selena Rolfes thank you so much for watching you know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the world make sure you like comment and subscribe and we will catch you later with more carrier bye, bye.